Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Muppets Most Wanted. It's the latest sequel of the 2011 film The Muppets. It stars Ricky Gervais, Ty Burrell from the TV show Modern Family, and Tina Fey, along with the other crew who did the voices of The Muppets. Steve Widmeyer, Eric Jacobson, Dave Gold, Bill Beretta, Dave Rutman, Matt Bold, Peter Ling, and Louise Gold. And it also features many celebrity cameos including Tony Bennett, and Lady Gaga, and Ray Liotta, Danny Trejo, and many others. The movie begins set after the last film. The Muppets decided to work on their next project themselves. So they hired a guy named Dominic Bad Guy, or Bad G as, as they call it. This was like a running joke on his last name. He's played by Ricky Gervais, and they decided to use as his tour guide in order to do a world tour in every location, including Berlin, which they were about to perform over there. Unfortunately, this also leads to the plan of, of the world's number one dangerous criminal, Constantine, who looks like a dead ringer for Kermit the Frog. And while he escapes from the Russian Siberia Gulag prison in Russia, his plan was he decided to take over for Kermit the Frog, which led Kermit to wind up being in prison mistakenly to believe that he's Constantine. So Constantine takes over and, and their plan was to use Dominic Bad Guy as his henchman because they worked together to steal some crown jewels and paintings some inside the museum. So this was part of the whole plan to, in order for them to tour to the Muppets. Meanwhile, an Indipo agent along with his CIA agent, Sam Eagle, Jean-Pierre Napoleon, who's played by Ty Burrell, and sort of in the tradition of Inspector Clouseau, yeah, he looks like him in that sort of way. They have identified the co-prints of what his nemesis turned out to be, the Lemire. That's why they keep receiving a coin brace calling card everywhere they go. The filing the instructions of the hidden behind one of the stolen paintings, Constantine and Bad Guy diverted the course of the Muppets toward the module. Yeah, and while Miss Piggy was having some issues with marriage, you know, between Kermit the Frog and all this other frustration that Kermit has been going in, Kermit was already in prison and decided to meet uh, Naya, a Russian gulag prison guard who's played by Tina Fey, who, who wants to becoming an avid fan of Kermit the Frog. So that means, you know, she has to work with him along with all the other prison cellmates um, as their own show, which leads to Walter's suspicion of finding out that Kermit the Frog that they're working with isn't what he seems. Once they found out, Walter had teamed up with Fozzie the Bear and Animal um, to go all the way to Siberia, Russia to find Kermit the Frog being caught over there and, and he had to escape in order to stop Constantine from taking over the world and, and marrying Miss Piggy which leads to bigger problems. While it wasn't nearly as good as the previous film though I really did enjoy this movie a lot. In fact it felt more like, like in the tradition of that film The Great Muppet Caper. For those who remember that movie that was basically a movie where they're trying to stop a jewel heist and it was their latest story so that was yeah because they were going all the way to that it sort of felt like that too because now you have two crooks who's who's stealing all the jewels and everything and yeah and it was <laughs> I, I gotta admit it was hilarious at times too the cast is very great too I, I love Ricky Gervais who, in that role I thought he did a great job yeah, because I knew he was going to play a villain in this one. Tina Fey was very good in this, too. You yeah, know, playing the <laughs> the gulag you know, prisoner guard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she was hilarious, also. Yeah, because I always love her, too, from 
coming from Saturday Night Live and Ferdy Rock and all that. And Mean Girls. And many. Very talented. And Ty Burrell, yeah. I, I think he was the best of them all. And very underrated as an actor. Because, yeah, coming from Modern Family and many other works that he's been doing. In fact, he's he was recently in the new movie Mr. Peabody and Sherman where he does the voice of Mr. Peabody. He did a very good job playing the agent. I, in fact, he, he did look exactly like Inspector Cruzel in that sort of way. You know, which makes you wonder, why didn't they cast him as in the role instead of Steve Martin? Because, <laughs> you know, I love Steve Martin, but no way in hell it worked very well. Well, maybe they might do that someday. But that was pretty cool. Because you could tell that he was playing that role uh, like a charm. Yeah, there were a lot of celebrity cameos. I, I thought Danny Trejo was hilarious. <laughs> um, basically, he's just playing in a prison cellmate who's under that same name. So that's that's kind of interesting. Considering that he had played some cellmates before. And um, yeah, Ray Liotta too. I also noticed there were a lot of cameos in the film as well as Tom Hiddleston who was about to escape <laughs> from prison after he was doing that act. I knew that was him so I, I was a bit surprised. Um, had a lot of great songs. Yeah, the music was great. Yeah, Coming out from Christoph Beck and Brett McKenzie because you know, they, they did the original songs to all this. It was really cool. Uh, one of my favorite songs in, in the movie was the, the Cockatoo song. That Constantine actually sang to. I'll give you whatever you want. If that's what it's called. Um, that that was a great song. I, I really love that one. Considering that Constantine is the villain. Yeah, yeah the, the villain with the mole between his mouth. It, it it was fun. I I enjoyed it. Uh, it's worth watching. It may not be as good as its predecessor, but I think it's going to be. Definitely, you know, if, if you love the Muppets, you, you know you'll never get tired of it. I mean, I've seen some disappointments in, in some of the Muppet movie, because I know the last one, before the 2011 movie, was was awful, and that was the Wizard of Oz one. I didn't like that one at all. They also had another Christmas one before that one, and that was forgettable. It will never live up to the Muppets Christmas Carol, because that was a classic. But definitely check this movie out if you get a chance. It's a very good movie. So anyway, I give Muppets Most Wanted three and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.